Okay, the next method of binding my new printable um, I'm going to show you is using uh, binder rings or um, ribbon or seam binding or, or twine or any of that um, with just two holes. I used um, a Seven Gypsies bindery punch um, to punch through mine. It's just quicker and easier. Of course, you could use the crocodile. You could use the um, the regular, you know, office uh, punch. And here's the the crocodile, the We Are Memory Keepers crocodile. Um, but anyway, so I've got all the pages ready, except I, I was going to show you how to cut that out. But I'm going to show you the pages really quick. This is um, one of the tags. So basically, all I did was I cut them out. I folded them a half and glued them together. On most of them, that's what I did. Um, some of them I had to do some adjusting too because the this size book is going to be a little, let's see, six, maybe a little hair under six by a little bit around four. Um, but since the, the hole punch that I used, the Seven Gypsies Bindery Punch, I had to adjust uh, several things, like the flap from here. If I would have left the flap on, it would have a hole through it. So I just cut it off and just made it an open pocket. Um, but I made it exactly the same way um, as before. I just sealed it all up and cut the top off. And then the covers and the liners, I'm going to use as pages this time. I'm going to do something a little different for the covers. Um, so I had to adjust the size because the cover pages are just a little bit uh, bigger than the rest of the pages. So this one, um, all I did was I cut it down a little bit more to size. And then before I glued it together, I cut this. Oh, my dogs are, are <laughs> playing, so I'm sorry if you heard that. Um, so I cut this piece off and then glued it down first and then uh, made another pocket out of the, the front cover that I'm now using as a page. Um, you know, you go ahead and put all the envelopes and all of the um, extra stuff together. Just put it straight together like you would. Some of the inserts don't fit because of the um, where I punched my, or how far the holes are punched in. Um, this one's just glued together. The same with this. The smaller ones, it barely fit, but it fit. Um, cut it apart and glue this piece down first and then glue the edges. And then this tag wouldn't fit um, in here. Once, I mean it will, it will barely fit, but you see it kind of goes over the hole just a little bit. So I just made it a page. I'll make a different um, tag insert for that. Um, and then the one that has the fold up pocket, I had to cut it in half because using the binder rings it wouldn't, it was it was just weird. So I just cut it in half and made two separate pockets. There's that piece from the other one. Then uh, uh, here's see. another. Um, this one was, was th with this. It has the little pocket. And it was again, you know, it was just weird so I just cut it off. Cut it in half and so this was a pocket and this is just a page. So there's the letter insert. I just made it a page. Um, that was pretty. There's another one. Just glued it in half. There's the other half of that uh, pocket. There's another page. And then this one, the pocket page. Um, you just make it just like you did, you know, before, or just like you would. Cut it, you know, cut it out, cut it in half. Glue this part down and this part down. And, and you know, it's a double-sided page. And this insert, this tag does fit. And the envelope I did a little bit different too. I went ahead and put it together. And then instead of using a magnet or um, any other, you know, closure, I just measured it a little bit and let's see. I ended up going an inch and a quarter from the bottom. And then I met, let's see, I cut about how long of a strip there? One, two, two, and two and three eighths of an inch long um, a slit there, so that when this folds down, it'll tuck in like that. I did that before, obviously before I glued it together, so that I wouldn't go through the whole thing. But that way, you don't have to have any extra hardware. Um, and I thought it was kind of neat. There's a number, a number, and there's another. <laughs> Fold it in half and glue it. Here's that one pocket page, and here's the insert, and I did cut it down the sides. Um, I made the sides real jaggedy so that it wouldn't stick out too far from 
um, from the edge there. And I thought it was kind of, you know, it looked kind of neat like that. There was, uh, there's another one, just glue it in half and cut it, you know, cut it down and glue it in half. This one was, you know, just the um, journal page. Well, before I glued it together, I kind of ripped it in half and then um, glued this piece down first and then glued the edges down here and now it's a, it's a little, little tuck spot, little pocket. And this is the insert for the the, um, the library pocket, but it won't fit. So I thought it would be cute right there. Another fold in half and glue. And then this is another page that I tore before I glued it together. I tore it down here and glued that down first and then glued that down. You could also, on some of these, you could leave the, um, the ends open for another uh, place to, you know, Tuck things in and and oh and there's the the little envelope. I didn't put the tag on it yet. I thought about making it a page, but it's really I don't know. I'll just leave it as a as a, a tag. Fold in half glue. Here is the liner um, page. So what I had to do with I had to cut it down in like two. But what I did was um, when I cut this piece. I went ahead and cut that extra flap off, you know, like this has a flap right here. I went ahead and cut that extra flap off, um, and then I glued it. I glued this, you know, two sides down, and I glued this whole thing down, and then I put it in my paper trimmer, and I trimmed it down to the length, the length, the size, um, the width, and the length, really, that I needed, um, and then I glued this edge down, so that way it'll fit in the book. All right, so that's, that's all the changes I had to make. I still need to make, like, um inserts and stuff so but I was going to show you how I cut this out and made this real quick now let me get my paper trimmer I got my big massive paper trimmer Let's see if I can get it all in here I haven't got all the pieces cut out for this book yet but but I will I'll come back and have it all finished for you all right I'm going to trim this piece off and then I'm going to trim down all the edge, straight edges that I can. And remember, don't expect it to be perfectly straight uh, with your with the edge of your paper. Um, make sure you know straight with the actual line of the design. And then we'll cut this little piece off right here. So we don't need that right now. Okay, then what you want to do is take your ruler and score the marks again. It just makes it easier to fold, especially when you're using this thick cardstock. Well, this is 65, 65 pound cardstock. Oh, while I've, while I've got this out, I'm going to go ahead and score it right here, too. Okay, now I can put this up. Alright, let's start with the complicated one. First, I'm going to cut down, I'm going to cut down right here. I'm going to go ahead and fold this flap. The reason I want to go ahead and fold this flap in is because I want to trim this part out. And that way it trims the little flap. It's not a flap. It's like a um, tab to hold it shut. That way it, it gets trimmed out just like the, just like the, uh, the curve here. So it matches perfectly. Okay. So then you want to fold this one 
this one down, the top that folds down so when it folds together you don't have any white space. You see how that works? Alright, so you fold that one down and if it doesn't look like it's going to close perfectly or you didn't trim it perfectly, whoa. Got a little shaky today, it looks like. So it trims like that. I'm going to go ahead and burnish, fold and burnish. Okay, so then you're at this point, so then you want to take your corner rounder. Whoops, I didn't do that. But, oh, sorry about the doggies. You may want to take your time on this to make sure that it's folded correctly. I just cracked my paper because I forced it, but anyway, so now it's all even. <laughs> Take my corner rounder and do the corners on all four corners. Like that. And then flip it over and then this bottom piece, oops, I forgot to cut this part off. a little thick right there and then you want to you, you don't want to fold this one until you've got it like this what is that oh goodness gracious I forgot to cut this piece off <laughs> oh. you can take that off whoa you can take that off if you want to it's not necessary it's not going to hurt anything Okay, let's try this one more time. Get it all folded together, then fold this flap on top of the back side. Give it a little burnish. Okay, sorry about that. The neighbor just came home and my dog started barking. So you fold that up and burnish it down. And before I move this, I'm gonna go ahead and fold this over. And Another trick too to make your life a little easier when you got something like this and you know you're going to glue the whole thing, just go ahead and glue it before you trim it. I'm using um, Beacon Fiber Tech. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue it before I trim it because that way it'll be nice and neat and clean. And the glue won't ooze out as much. Okay, probably should wait just a few minutes, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go ahead and trim it. See how it's perfect? Perfect! Then I'm going to cut these off. And I'm going to take the hole punch. And just line it up. There we go. Alright, let me move this big trimmer out of the way real quick. Alright, on this one, uh, before we glue it down, we want to do a little bit of inking in certain spots. And again, I'm using the um, archival uh, coffee color. I should probably get a new one just so you can see what it really looks like without all that stuff on it. But Okay, so you want to ink this curved spot and I also like to come in here and ink uh, this flap right here you know, just in case it's seen from the inside and then you want to ink this bottom flap right here alright to glue it together you want to start with this one I'm going to get down And then you want to glue this side down to here. So, I'm 
And then after you get it all glued, that's when you want to come back and get all the outside edges. All right. Now this time, like I said, I'm going to use binder rings. These are from Seven Gypsies, but you can use the kind that you can get from uh, Staples or Office Depot or Walmart or any of those places, you know, the just the silver binder rings. You can use those kind. If you wanted to try to color them, you could use like alcohol inks or something um, to color over top of them to change their color a little bit instead of bright silver, unless you want bright silver. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna bind it with binder rings, but before we start doing that, I want to start with the covers. So what I wanted to do this time is I wanted to make kind of a soft cover, sort of. So I'm gonna use these burlap paper uh, sheets. Uh, this is die cuts with a view, but I think I got it at um, Michaels, maybe. Not 100% sure. But you get you get you know 24 sheets and it says six by six, but it's really a little bit over six, so it's going to work to our advantage. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get four of these sheets out, and they have a paper backing, which is which is kind of nice. You could use these as pages too if you wanted to, cut them down to size, and insert them in as a page. That'd be kind of cool. Okay. So what we want to do is two of them, um, well before we glue anything together, what I want to do, oh I have to, I have to cut it, let's see, think Jan, think. I want to, I need to make a hole, but I can't measure the middle um, because it's not cut down to the proper size yet. Hmm, well, let's do it like this. I'm going to act like this bottom, well this bottom would be the bottom, let's see, we're going to cut up here, so it's going to almost be six inches tall, so I'm just going to find the center that way, three inches here, three inches here, and then I'm going to mark it, whoops, I need to come in a little bit. I'm going to mark it right there. And the reason I'm doing this is, oh, I should have got it out really quickly. Here we go. I'm going to, as my closure, I'm going to use a um, hitch post. <laughs> I hope I said that right. I always have trouble saying that word. And it's from Tim Holtz. So I wanted to I wanted to have that sandwiched um, in between the two that I'm going to glue together. So first I got to um, I've marked my hole. Now I'm going to make another hole with my my crocodile here. I'm going to use the small hole. Well, maybe not. There we go. And then. I'm just going to run the back through the hole from the out from the back side and and twist it on. So now it's attached. So there's the back side. Now it's attached. All right. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue another piece to the back like this. Okay. Right, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put the glue on this side since that one's got a, a thing. Okay, so then now we're going to have to have something that attaches. So I've got um, a hairband that I just cut in half. So that'll be the, the part that comes around and, and uh, keeps it closed. Like a hair tie, you know, like a, um, yeah, they have, they're called something. Hmm. I don't know. I'm batting a thousand here. Okay. So we want to do that. We want to mark some holes again, except this time we're going to go a little bit further in and we need two holes. Alrighty. I 
think I'm going to go at 3 8 and 3 8 right, and poke through with the crocodile again. Doesn't have to be precise, but I'm trying to, to make it look neat. All right, so then we're going to come in from the from the outside and thread one end into each hole like that. So then you want to flip it over. I usually just tape it down, and I'm going to go grab my tape. And um, I usually just tape it down with regular old Scotch tape because we're going to glue it. You know, really good with when we glue the two together. Just want to give it a good. Okay, so now we're going to glue this to the other piece. Okay, I'm going to clip that down just so it can dry like that a little bit better. Or you know what, maybe I use a paper clip. So I can go in between there like that. Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to get my big paper trimmer back out again real quick. This is a heavy duty sucker and it cuts through pretty good. Whoop. Okay, first thing we want to do is trim it to the height that we need. And I'm going to try to go just below that hole there, but I'm going to go a smidge taller than six. Just a smidge. Oh. Got to put a little force behind it there. And then we want to go. Come back. Well, then we want to go like four and a quarter width. To make room for like tags and stuff. See this there's the extra little little piece we got left. So we could probably do something with that. So there's the front cover. It's not done yet because we're gonna round the corners and ink it up. So cute. Okay, so then we're gonna do the same thing, this, take the bottom off. Just go a smidge past six. I think I might be putting too much pressure. I don't have to work that hard, I don't think. And then we're going to go again four and a quarter. Oh, I don't like pulling down for some reason. Oh, let's try it again. Four and a quarter. Oh, there's another strip. All right, putting this back. All right, so now we just want to take a minute and round the corners to match the pages. They don't have to be perfect. I think is I'm going to poke some holes with my boundary punch in the covers. I'm just going to eyeball it to center it. I didn't measure any of them, so just going to kind of eyeball it and, it and it goes through really nice and cleanly so it looks good. The same for the back cover. I wonder if I should do it like this just because. Oh um, my puppy dog. She's not, a, she's not a puppy. She's like three or four. I think she's four. Just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some eyelets in those holes. So I'm going to take my crop doll and I'm going to set these eyelets in these holes here. It's 
pretty cool. Do it both front and back. Um, let's see. That's the outside. Let's do the outside. I bet this is dry now. Okay. So let's start putting it together. Obviously, I'm not finished with the covers. Oh, wait, no, I still another. I still got something else I gotta do. Um, ink the edges. This burlap, this burlap uh, paper, uh, yeah, that's what it's called, burlap paper, takes inks really, really well. So, okay. So we're just gonna put these in here, all random, I think. And we'll start with the back cover. Like that, you know what? I think I am gonna put the liner in the back here, just cause I might just just go with the flow here. So there we go. I'm gonna. Isn't that cute? Oh, I just love it. I'm gonna finish it up, and I'll come back and show you what I, what I got. So it's adorable. And see how flexible this this cover is. Some people may not like that, but it's kind of cool. Okay, well, I'm going to finish it up, and then I will be back <laughs> in a minute. Sophie said bye. <laughs> All right, I just wanted to show you what I did uh, real quickly. Um, it's not finished. I haven't made the, the tags and inserts. That's what I'm going to use the two background sheets for, um, for a lot of the pockets, but I wanted to do a little bit to the cover so you can see how different um, each one of the, the books can look um, using my new printable. Um, I just did a real simple, I, I did the seam binding, I just wrapped it around the cover oops, a couple times and then tied it in a little bow right there on the side. Then I used some little glue dots to, to hold the ribbon down just a little bit so it didn't, you know, flap all over the place. And then I used um, a piece of chipboard I can't, I don't know. And I covered it with some of the leftover paper um, that was actually for the cover. And then um, attached a, a little key charm that says heart. Can you see? I don't know. I can hardly tell. I don't have, there we go, heart. <laughs> and then I attached this little uh, crystal charm. I just thought it was cute. Um, really simple, kept it simple. I, thought, I think it's sweet. I love the burlap covers. I just I just think it's sweet. So I didn't really do a whole lot to the inside. I haven't made the tags and inserts for the stuff. So um, there's the little file folder. I haven't even inked it yet. Little file folder book. I just this time I attached it with a tiny attacher, the Tim Holtz tiny attacher. Um, it actually fits all the way in there. That simple way to bind that little book. Um, but everything else pretty much is is about the same. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's the uh, leftover pieces from when we made the cover that look like this. I just made them into to little tags. Uh, put eyelets in them. I just thought it was a cute little addition. And in the envelope, this time, whoa, look at there, look what's coming out. <laughs> I just put all the pieces in there that I haven't used yet so that that way they're ready when I go to to go finish this book with all the tags and stuff and inserts. Um, but that's about it. I kept it simple. I haven't really done anything um, anything more in here. Um, let's see. No, nope, not really. I'll have to finish it another time. But now I'm going to move on to the next binding. So, our next binding method. So let me know what you think. Um, of this cute and little mini. Stay tuned for the next binding method to use with my mini printable. I'll see you next time. Bye.